Hello everybody. The level of uplift in Svartsengi has just about reached the same heights as before the eruption on December 18th and the subsidence event on November 10th. This means we're on high alert as this level of uplift seems to be a trigger for an intrusion. An agreement has been met on constructing a large-scale barrier or fortification north of Grindavík to protect the town from possible lava flows in the future. Which is great, as a scenario where lava would flow into Grindavík is not that unlikely. People will be allowed to stay in Grindavík over the New Year's if they want to, although some of our experts don't recommend it. What should we expect before the eruption? Where will it erupt? Will it occur in 2023 or 2024? Well, let's check out the details. Beginning with the wall, barrier or fortification, you decide what to call it. This wall won't be no ordinary mud pile, as it'll stretch a comfortable 7 kilometers and be up to 10 meters in some areas, depending on the terrain. But the wall will be constructed on a watershed line, making it a pretty sturdy build. Construction will begin as soon as possible, and the most important sections will be focused on first. It'll probably take two months to finish that section, and if needed, the rest will likely be completed during the summer of 2024. So, what about the uplift? Currently, the level of uplift has just reached the trigger height that we've now seen happen three times in the last one and a half month. As most of you are familiar with, when this level of uplift was reached the first two times, it resulted in an intrusion. First on November 10th, and then on December 18th. The first intrusion didn't result in an eruption, whereas the second one did. Earthquake activity has yet to begin, but on December 18th it increased sharply shortly after uplift got to the trigger height. Our experts expect the earthquake activity to be slightly weaker this time, but that is most likely based on the assumption that magma will intrude along the path created on November 10th, which the December 18th intrusion seems to have followed as well. This weaker earthquake activity will result in a shorter notice before the eruption, which is definitely uncomfortable, as people could be staying in Grindavík over the New Year's. We should still see an obvious increase in earthquake activity, especially quantity, so we'll definitely be on the lookout for that. The location of this eruption is most likely going to be the same as last time, as the last two intrusions have been in that area, meaning the ground there is weak. The question is though, will it erupt further south or north? That is something we unfortunately can't answer, but during the intrusion on November 10th, the magma dike that formed reached through Grindavík and all the way to the ocean, meaning a path of least resistance is present along that path. As the December 18th intrusion followed the path the November 10th intrusion created, it is likely this possible next intrusion will, and it could surface anywhere on this line I've marked on screen. On to the $100,000 question. When will it erupt? To be clear, an eruption is not guaranteed at all. Overall, it is statistically more likely that we'll get an intrusion that won't result in an eruption. Although currently, in the Schwarzenegger system, as we've only had two intrusions, it's a 50% chance. We'll have to wait for more samples. What is almost guaranteed though is an intrusion, but based on the previous eruption, it took around two days for the earthquake activity to pick up after the trigger height was reached. Just one and a half hour after the earthquake activity began, the eruption started. So, this happens fast, and with this template, we could expect an eruption to occur tomorrow, late in the evening, or early in the morning on January 1st. If you see the earthquake activity pick up, set a timer to one and a half hour. When the alarm goes off, take a quick look at the live stream. If you see nothing, you can continue with the New Year's party. I just want to thank everyone who made it here. 
definitely leave any speculations and questions in the comments. It's always fun to read them. Other than that, I just hope you enjoyed, hope to see most of you in the next video, and thanks for watching.